Well, let's continue the discussion about uni, but this time let's ask Ifa Isfansha, the film producer, to join us. Let's, let's ask him directly. Mas Ifa. Hello, hello. Hi. Yeah, first of all, we want to say congratulations on winning the award, but let's, let's talk about the time before that. How did the film first enter this festival? Yeah, so uh, one of the most uh, important job as a film producer is how to find uh, the right platform to launch the film. Sometimes the platform is on, on uh, regional cinema or national cinema. If the film is, the, I mean, the audience is in the national, but uh, for in case for uni, uh, is more international audience. So I think festival is the uh, the perfect platform to launch because we need the promotion, we need to push uh, the film to get more wider for the international audience. So basically, uh, like uh, we submit, and of course, we really expect to get the Ellis Film Festival. Uh, and I think Toronto is the, the, the right platform when we got selected there. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like a very prestigious and it's, uh, you know, an achievement that is quite big. Um, what's the selection process like and what are the challenges you had to go through? Yeah, uh, in uni, actually, it's not, uh, our film, it's not our first film that's selected in Toronto. It's third film by Camila that's selected in Toronto. Uh, 2015, Camila uh, in that festival with short film. And then for uh, 2017, our, our film, uh, The Sin and Unseen, or Sekala Neskala, is also in that uh, program in Toronto. And this year is really special because they just select because of the pandemic, usually they select 12, but um, this year they select just eight film and all is what premiere. So uh, this is the first time that's premiere in Toronto and Uni is uh, the only film from, from Asia. So uh, yeah, it's really happy to select it there. Yeah, it's a problem. Uh, Masifa, as the producer, um, let's talk a little, about, little bit about the business of filmmaking and film producing. Yeah. Um, by winning these, um, these awards, uh, what, do you, what do you hope to achieve? Are, are you going for streaming services um, and getting revenue from that? Um, because there's still a lot of limitations on, on showing uh, movies in the cinemas right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the very important question because usually uh, the people just thinking about prestigious of the film festival, how to get uh, uh, many as we can in the film festival. But actually, in the film festival, for the international uh, audience, is more is more etalation uh, for the film. But the most important is the sales because uh, usually uh, in this case we work with sales agent and then. Uh, yeah, after uh, we in the film festival, or especially if we got this uh, top prize in prestigious film festival, we push the film to uh, meet the buyer, meet the distribution. So now, uh, after this film got award, uh, yesterday, suddenly I become really busy to work with the uh, film uh, sales. That's uh, so many opportunity come to to release uni uh, wider, but. Uh, also, even uh, we aiming for international mass market, the most important is 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 uh, the the market in in that film region. Mm. In this case, is in Indonesia because uh, especially also Uni is really have strong voice and important voice to the Indonesian audience. Um, Mas Eva, so you told us about. Um the director Kamel Andini as this is the third participation of her and um, and this is the first time of a Southeast Asian movie to win such an award so this is a huge milestone not only for you but also your team and also Kamela Andini and um, during her winning speech um, she said that this movie is dedicated to the voice of the voiceless especially women in Indonesia who aim to uh, dream high who aim to pursue uh, the highest education possible, but sometimes they have to give in to pressure to get married young. What do you want to see differently after people watching your uh, movie, especially in Indonesia? Yeah, 
uh, the most important is actually uh, we 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 made this film not just want to tell something, but uh, we really want to make audience to think that uh, it's reflect that uh, the condition uh, the condition in our country, especially for the for the teenager in Indonesia. Uh, the difference of this film because uh, this film is made in in not uh, usually that teenage film is made in urban area from the their perspective, but uh, in this film uh, we make from the suburb area because we think that uh, the most teenager is uh, live there. So after watch this film, I hope. Uh, especially not just the teenager but also uh, the society uh, uh, have more wide uh, perspective in terms of marriage uh, yeah because sometimes they just think that marriage is like uh, something lucky or marriage is a uh, uh, solution for something but yeah, yeah. yeah but I think that's not correct. Well, because we know that women in Indonesia they face pressure um, by the, you know the elderly say that women should end up in the kitchen yeah. or women <laughs> should not pursue higher education because there will be no men attracted to you because of that. So uh, I'm really I'm really happy about this movie that it breaks the stigma um, that would, women should also um, have the right to pursue whatever they want to yeah. pursue. Well, maybe in the future, if you ever uh, produce a movie, you know, uh, depicting maybe cultures in Indonesia. What types of messages or what other scenes would you choose, you know, to convey a message to your audience? Yeah, I really concern about the social condition in Indonesia, especially nowadays that the movie is really possible, a film is really possible uh, to the people tell the, their own story. Because now the technology is more digitally, uh, the camera or the editing or the camera, uh, filmmaking equipment uh, can be uh, work in the all of the area in Indonesia so I think I really hope to support the diversity of the Indonesian cinema because uh, the identity of the national cinema is is, is must be reflect the condition of that uh, uh, area or country so for Indonesian I always want to support that diverse of cinema. That's great. Thank you so much, my Mas Ifa, and good luck for your, you know, future endeavors, especially regarding movies, uh, Indonesian movies uh, specifically. Thank you for being here in okay, the Triani show. So thank yeah, you so thank much, you um, Ifa, for joining us. And it's so, yeah. um, you know, a, a moment of pride for Indonesia to have such a movie uh, win the prestigious yeah. event. And it's not only in Toronto, guys, because a uni will go ahead to other film festivals as well, some of which are Busan International Film Festival, Vancouver, and also Chicago International Film Festival. Yeah, and not only that, you know, the movie can show about the social reality here in Indonesia, but also the beautiful, you know, sceneries that we have here, maybe food, maybe other culture cu mm. culture stuff that we can actually bring up you know it, to the movies right it will definitely promote cultural understanding for yeah. viewers and especially i was really uh, excited to hear if i was saying that you know he's been getting a lot of calls from buyers yeah. meaning that all these you know uh, online platforms you know, streaming platforms they will be showing this and people all over the world yeah. will be able to sh to see this you know and hopefully see. indonesian moviegoers will appreciate this movie because this is something you know um, this is not a conventional popular movie sometimes horror sometimes comedy or drama but this is something that is deep and hopefully indonesian viewers will appreciate this yeah and hopefully the indonesian filmmakers and the, everyone in the film industry here can make money Amen. Yeah, not Amen. only a good movie, but making money as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, now today is World Peace Day. We'll talk more about that when we return on See the Stories. <laughs>